First thing to do is boot up your Pi, go into Emulation Station, go to the Retro Pi menu, and go to Retro Pi Setup. Go to Configuration and Tools, and scroll down to to Wi-Fi. Connect to Wi-Fi, find your local Wi-Fi, and type in your password and connect. I am now connected to my Wi-Fi. Go ahead and go back now. This time, go into Manage Packages. So in order to do that, we want to go into Optional Packages. And then scroll down to 218, and we want to install the MSX and the MX2 emulators. Go ahead and press OK, install from source, and this should fix the MSX emulator. Now we're all done with that. Go ahead and scroll down and press back, 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 exit. And we should be back in the RetroPie setup menu, and we're just going to go ahead and hit restart in a track mode, which should reboot the Pi, and it should also set the attract mode as our default boot. So now whenever we turn on a Raspberry Pi, it should go directly into a track mode from now on. So there we go. We're now in a track mode. And we have our track mode menus. If you press D, it should go back to the displays menu where you can see all your displays. The last thing we want to do is fix the MSX2. In order to do that, you want to press tab. Go over to emulators, and we're going to go into the MSX2 emulator. Once here, we want to we want to fix the the writing. So press over, 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 and the word supplementary is spelled incorrectly. You need to add an extra p. And delete an M. Go ahead and hit enter to save. In command arguments, you want to go ahead and click enter and you want to delete the two. So let's try MSX2. seems to be working just fine. Start select out of it. Let's see if our MSX1 is working. Let's go ahead and hit into Cannonball. That works. So MSX, MSX2. So there you have it, that should have fixed your MSX and your MSX2. If you could, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.